Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here this morning. You know, we're concluding our series because today is January the 31st, and we've had a month-long series that we're concluding today on our focus on generating more referral business for 2023, which I know is something we all want, right? It's kind of why we all got into the business. We kind of thought that we knew a lot of people and we'd get a lot of referrals and we would, our job as realtors would be to help people find or sell homes. Uh, nobody really told us, right, that no, more than half of every day is going to be spent on marketing yourself so that people will choose to use you or choose to refer you to their network. Uh, so, you know, I hope that you've taken a few key points from our conversation this month. Uh, the first one that really jumps out at me is just knowing people is not enough. Everyone I know knows at least, at least, 10 other agents too. And to generate more referral business, I'm gonna need to become the top of mind, credible expert with all the people that I know. I can't just know them, I can't just meet them, I can't just have them in a database or hand out my business cards. I've got to become the top of mind credible expert because I know these people that I call my people that are in my network, they know at least 10 to 12 other agents. There's just that many of us. Number two, takeaway for me this month has been, hey, your schedule, your weekly schedule and your CRM are your best friends in this business. They are. They are the building blocks. They are going to help you. They are going to help you do more business in less time. They're going to help you get as close to work-life balance as possible if you'll lean into them. It will be next to impossible to establish yourself as the top of mind credible expert with people in your network without a strong schedule and CRM. You're just going to beat your head into the wall forever until you start adopting these two tools that will help each of us. They are the fundamental building blocks to a strong real estate business. Resist it as long as you need to, I guess. Uh, third takeaway, the power number is not in the amount of people that I know. It's not. The power number the real mover in all of this is in the people that your people know. It's not in the people you know. It's in the people that your people know. And the real strategy here is to turn your people into ambassadors for you, into walking billboards, into champions for you. So that, you know, the people you know, they ain't moving. Right? Have you ever kind of got that sense? Like, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here because I feel like these people that are in my network, they don't have any plans to move. Yeah, they don't. You know, people are only moving once every 12 to 13 years. Your people ain't going anywhere. The strategy here is to turn them into champions for you so they're out recommending you to the people in their network. It's a real key point. And it leads to number four, my big takeaway for the month. Referrals come, referrals come from the actions we take each day. Not every once in a while, not occasionally, and definitely not when I feel like it. Referrals come from the actions we take each day. Well, what kind of actions? Well, I mean, like, here we go, daily phone calls handwritten note cards that we mail out, text videos, real short little text videos, just touching in with people, uh, social media connections and robust relevant content, a monthly newsletter, one-on-one -on -one meetings, emails, embedded video messages in your emails. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, events, face-to-face, -face, the highest form of communication, right? Direct messaging on social media. And I think the list just goes on and on and on. These are just some of the highlights. Uh, I hear way too many people 
say, well, I'm not sure what I should be doing. I don't know how to get started. I feel a little stuck. Stop it. I just told you. Well, other than that, no, not other than that. That. Daily phone calls. Get your ass on the phone. Call people. Touch base with them. Check in. Stay connected. Write handwritten note cards. Mail them out every day. Text short little video messages. Build your social media connections and be posting relevant, robust content every day. Well, I couldn't think of anything, Mike. Well, that's what people that don't want to do it say. Monthly newsletter one-on-one -on -one meetings, embedded videos in your email messages, events, direct messaging on social. This is what we're supposed to be doing for at least half of every day. What are you doing? Just whining that the world isn't working the way you imagined that it was supposed to? Or are you taking actions? And these actions are what we are supposed to be doing. This is our job every day. Showing homes, anybody can unlock doors. There's no skill in that. Listing homes, well, where do you think listings are going to come from? Where are your buyers going to come from? You know, I just got back from a conference last week, and all everybody wants to talk about is technology. And here's the problem that I have with that. I mean, I'm not against technology. I'm all for any productive tool that can help you sell more homes in less time. But here's what I've never heard anybody say. You know, Mike, if I just had more technology, I would have sold more homes last year. <laughs> Nobody says that. We have more technology available to us than we can possibly use. How about you people with an iPhone in your pocket right now? Maybe you're listening to me. What percent of its functionality do you think that you're using every day? I doubt it's even 1%. So you have more technology in your pocket than you could ever use. Our problem isn't we need more technology. Our problem is we need to get back to completing the actions that actually generate referrals because I think that's why we got into this business. That's where I think most of us thought our business was gonna come from. It's not that you lack any form of technology. It's not. Here's the problem every real estate agent has. Everybody listening to the sound of my voice can say amen to this. You know what I really need? I need more buyers and sellers. That's what I really need. And everything else is just bullshit. I need more buyers and sellers. Well, where do you think they're going to come from? They're going to come from the actions you take every day. And if you don't take these actions, you won't have any buyers and sellers. I want to finish this month with our focus on referrals by encouraging you. Go back and reread Ninja Selling. Go back and read The Seven Levels of Communication. If you haven't read those two books, stop everything you're doing and go get the books right now. If you've already read the books, which I know most of you have, read them again. Read them this time with a highlight pen in your hand. Highlighting key passages through there. Making notes in the margins. Actually study these books and see what parts, what takeaways you could draw that you could implement today in your business. And I think if we did that, we'd be going out there and making it happen for ourselves today.